Uh, do you follow boxing? You follow boxing? A little bit. Uh, like I said, I stay in the gym so much, I don't really have time to watch a lot of TV. But I, I got a few of them boys I like. I recently, um, like, I like to, I, I like to watch all the fights after they kind of, you know, I watch all the replays and watch the fights again. I like what Tank Davis been doing. You know, um, I like, uh, I like the whole Mayweather's ideology and squad and his whole the brain of it. Boy, that mm-hmm. boy's a super duper genius. Um, but honestly, my personal opinion of the sport of boxing, even though I, I would get in it, it's soft. That's my personal opinion. It's soft. It's too many rules. It's too sweet. You got two guys, two men standing in front of each other for 12 rounds. At the end of the fight, they look like they put on lip gloss. Everybody's prettier than when the fight started. I don't believe that's a fight. Anytime that happens. That was never a fight. You're talking about some movie, uh, uh, karate, stuntman type shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, AW is better than that. At least, at least you're gonna see some blood. So, yeah. you yeah. know what I mean? I'm not. Um, I'm not. I don't. I don't get too involved in it. Um, what Tank did to Roly though? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yo, no, that was funny. Yeah. <laughs> I watched that. I watched that. I watched the big ones. I watched them, but I, I don't watch it all. Uh, we, we, matter of fact, since you brought up Roly, right? right? So, so I think the the thing that sold that fight was what Tank usually does to everybody, knocking everybody out. But another thing was Roly really promoting himself. You know what I'm saying? And really selling the fight to the fans. You Which think guys? Was, you think guys? Oh, go, go, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was about to say you think no, no, you think no, no, more you guys think, need to learn how to promote themselves and market themselves to casuals more than cross over. I think it's a flaw in the system that we have to mm. see. A lot of the real serious fighters, a lot of the guys that's really good, they'll never get the shot because they didn't take their. They never stopped broke focus from training to be some sort of YouTube superstar running around selling tickets and 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 filling up pools with jello mm-hmm. so so it don't matter how good they are they may never get the chance to be seen and then you got some guys that are pure trash but since they got this big uh personality or a big following then they they'll get on there and they'll get the shot to shine mm-hmm. so it's partially the promoter's fault. It's partially the fans' fault. It's partially necessary. But um, there was a time when it was the promoter's responsibility to promote. That's why they call promoters. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But now it's the fighter's responsibility to promote and be the best damn fighter in the world and risk your life and sell tickets and be a superstar on the internet for unrelated shit like head button goats <laughs> you gotta do all kind of weird shit well, what's the point of even having a promoter then? that's just the way it go man you just gotta keep up with the times you gotta be relevant and so sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know i don't think it's fair to the fighters but it is what it is you know um if you remember even with like don king and them a lot of them guys weren't promoting don king was the man he made sure you saw him he made sure you heard him some of them mm-hmm. dudes couldn't even talk couldn't even string together a sentence but mm-hmm. don mm-hmm. king made sure you knew what their name was absolutely but nowadays absolutely. it ain't like that you got to do that yourself 